Charles Rolls, born with a silver spanner in his hand. This bloke wasn't destined for a life of croquet and cucumber sandwiches. No, sir. Rolls was obsessed with engines, speed, the thrill of pushing boundaries, and push them he did. From his early days tinkering with anything mechanical, it was clear this lad was different. While other kids played soldiers, he was knee-deep in Greece, figuring out how things worked. This hands-on approach, combined with his family's wealth, gave him a head start in the world of motoring. But Rolls wasn't just about horsepower and speed. He was a shrewd businessman, recognising the potential of the fledgling automobile industry. He saw beyond the clunky contraptions of the time, envisioning a future of sleek, powerful and luxurious cars. And he wasn't afraid to put his money where his mouth was. He raced cars, sold cars and championed the automobile as a symbol of progress. He was a pioneer, an innovator and a true original. Roll's education at Eton and Cambridge could have steered him towards a life of aristocratic privilege, but his heart yearned for the open road, for the roar of an engine and the wind in his hair. While at Cambridge, he bought his first car, a Peugeot. Not content with simply driving it, he tinkered with it, modified it, and even raced it, becoming one of the first students to own a car. Talk about arriving in style. His passion for motoring led him to establish one of the first car dealerships in Britain, C.S. Rolls & Company. He could sell you a car, race you in one, and probably rebuild your engine all in an afternoon. It was during this time he met Henry Royce, an engineer with a meticulous eye for detail and a passion for building exceptional machines. The rest, as they say, is history. In 1904, a partnership was forged that would change the automotive world forever. Charles Rolls, the flamboyant salesman and visionary, joined forces with Henry Royce, the engineering genius. Rolls-Royce was born. Rolls, with his keen sense of the market, knew there was a demand for something truly special. Royce, with his relentless pursuit of perfection, could deliver it. Their first car, the Rolls-Royce 10 GP, was unveiled in 1904 at the Paris Salon. The car was a sensation, a perfect blend of elegance, power and reliability. It set the standard for luxury automobiles, a standard Rolls-Royce maintains to this day. Rolls, ever the showman, used his natural charm and driving skills to promote the brand, participating in races and rallies. He understood the power of publicity and wasn't afraid to push his cars to the limit to prove their worth. He once said, the quality will remain long after the price is forgotten. Wise words indeed. Roll's thirst for adventure wasn't confined to the ground. He was captivated by the Wright brothers' achievement in 1903 and saw the potential of this newfangled flying machine. He became a founding member and the first chairman of the Royal Aero Club in 1901, a testament to his forward-thinking nature. He even convinced the sceptical Henry Royce to design and build aero engines, recognising the future of powered flight. Talk about a man ahead of his time. In 1909, he became the first man to fly non-stop across the English Channel and back, cementing his place in aviation history. His passion for flying was as strong as his love for motoring. He saw the potential of aviation to connect people and places, to break down barriers and expand horizons. Rolls, the adventurer, the pioneer, was always looking to the skies. On June 2nd, 1910, Charles Rolls achieved what many thought impossible. He piloted his fragile-looking Wright Flyer biplane across the English Channel from Dover to Calais and back without stopping. This daring feat of aviation captured the world's imagination. Imagine the scene. A small crowd gathered on the cliffs of Dover, their faces a mixture of excitement and apprehension as Rolls prepared his flimsy aircraft. The engine sputtered to life, the propeller became a blur, and the Wright Flyer lifted gracefully into the air. For almost four hours, Rolls battled the wind and the waves, his eyes fixed on the distant French coastline. The English Channel, once a formidable barrier, had been conquered by this intrepid aviator. His achievement was hailed as a triumph of human ingenuity and courage. Newspapers around the world carried the story, 
and Rolls became an international celebrity. He had pushed the boundaries of what was possible, inspiring a generation to embrace the future of flight. July 12th, 1910, Bournemouth, England, a day that began with the promise of another daring air display ended in tragedy. Charles Rolls, the man who had conquered the skies just weeks before, met his end in a horrifying crash. He was participating in an aviation meet, showcasing the wonders of flight to an enthralled crowd. But during a sharp turn, the tail of his right flyer broke away, sending the aircraft plummeting to the ground. The impact was devastating. Rolls became the first Briton to be killed in an airplane crash, a tragic end for a man who lived life at full throttle. The news of his death sent shockwaves through the fledgling aviation community and beyond. He was just 32 years old. A life filled with adventure, innovation and a relentless pursuit of the next challenge cut short. Charles Rolls' life, though tragically cut short, left an indelible mark on the world. He was more than just a rich kid with a need for speed. He was a visionary, a pioneer, a man who embraced progress and pushed the boundaries of what was possible. His legacy lives on not just in the iconic Rolls-Royce brand, but in the spirit of adventure and innovation he embodied. He was a tireless advocate for both motoring and aviation, recognizing their potential to transform the world. He raced cars, sold cars, flew planes, and even set records all with a contagious enthusiasm that inspired those around him. He wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty, to take risks, and to challenge the status quo. His untimely death robbed the world of a true pioneer, but his spirit lives on, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the thrill of the open road and the open sky. The cars that bear his name are a fitting tribute to Charles Rolls's legacy. Rolls-Royce has become synonymous with luxury, performance and unparalleled craftsmanship. From the iconic spirit of ecstasy hood ornament to the hand-stitched leather interiors, every detail exudes quality and sophistication. Rolls understood that a car could be more than just a means of transportation. It could be a work of art, a statement of success, a symbol of refined taste. He envisioned a car that would embody the very best of British engineering and design, and he found the perfect partner in Henry Royce to make that vision a reality. Today, Rolls-Royce continues to push the boundaries of automotive excellence, just as Charles Rolls did over a century ago. The company's commitment to innovation is evident in its cutting-edge technology, its stunning designs, and its unwavering pursuit of perfection. Rolls would undoubtedly be proud to see how his legacy lives on in the sleek lines and powerful engines of every Rolls-Royce that graces the road today. Charles Rolls' adventurous spirit, his unquenchable thirst for the new and the exciting, continues to inspire generations of adventurers, entrepreneurs and dreamers. He showed the world that anything is possible if you dare to dream big and have the courage to pursue your passions. His story is a reminder that true pioneers are not bound by convention or limited by fear. They are driven by a relentless curiosity, a desire to explore uncharted territory, and a belief in the power of human ingenuity to overcome any obstacle. Rolls' legacy is not just about cars or airplanes, it's about the indomitable human spirit the refusal to accept limitations and the pursuit of excellence in all things. He showed us that life is meant to be lived to the fullest, embracing every challenge and savoring every moment. So the next time you see a Rolls Royce gliding effortlessly down the road or hear the roar of an airplane engine, remember Charles Rolls, the man who dared to dream big and whose pioneering spirit continues to inspire us today. Charles Rolls was at the forefront of the motoring revolution that swept through Europe and America in the early 20th century. He was a founding member of the Automobile Club of Great Britain, later the Royal Automobile Club, RAC, and played a key role in establishing motoring as a popular pastime and a viable mode of transportation. He organized races and rallies, demonstrating the reliability and performance of these newfangled machines. He understood that to win over a skeptical public, he needed to prove that cars were more than just noisy, unreliable contraptions. 
He campaigned for better roads, fought for the rights of motorists, and helped to shape the future of the automobile industry. His passion for motoring was infectious, and he played a key role in popularizing the car among the British public. He was a true ambassador for the automobile, a man who saw its potential to change the world and who worked tirelessly to make that vision a reality. Though born in Berkeley Square, London, Charles Rolls had a deep connection to Wales. His family owned the Hundra, an estate in Monmouthshire, Wales, and he spent much of his childhood there. He considered Wales his true home and took great pride in his Welsh heritage. He was a fluent Welsh speaker and a passionate advocate for Welsh culture and identity. He even had a special Welsh dragon mascot fitted to his cars and airplanes. He was a true Welsh wizard who brought his country's name to the forefront of the motoring and aviation worlds. His connection to Wales was more than just sentimental. He recognised the beauty of the Welsh landscape and saw its potential as a proving ground for his automobiles. He organised some of the first motor rallies through the Welsh mountains, showcasing the capabilities of these new machines. His love for Wales was evident in everything he did, and he remains a celebrated figure in his adopted homeland. Charles Rolls lived a life that most can only dream of. He was a man of action, a visionary, and a true pioneer. He embraced the dawn of the automobile and the magic of flight, leaving an enduring legacy that continues to inspire generations later. He wasn't perfect, mind you. Some might call him reckless, a daredevil, a bit of a thrill seeker. And they wouldn't be wrong, but that's what made him so captivating, so extraordinary. He lived life on his own terms, always pushing the limits, always striving for more. His tragic death at such a young age was a loss to the world, but his spirit lives on. So raise a glass to Charles Rolls, the pioneer, the adventurer, the man who dared to dream and who, in his short but remarkable life, changed the world forever.